Alright, hey, what's going on, guys? Today, we're going to be doing a tackle video thing. So, yeah, let's get right into this. First, sorry about the bad setup in the lighting room. Okay, but first, we're going to start off with some dirt bait. With some dirt bait. What the frick? Alright, so, uh, first we got the Castic Boy Ducket. Uh, 95 size, right there. Trying to get in camera, because this is the second time doing this, so sorry if things are out of their case or whatever. Um, this is, a uh, Bleeding Shad, and this is Castic Blue, or Clear Blue, because you can kind of see it's, like, transparent. Um, the rattles are pretty, pretty close, but, um, this is the 115 size. Make sure it's in frame there. Um, in bleeding shad right there. So yeah, it's pretty nice there too. Um, next we have a tackle warehouse sticker. Just you know. Um. Also next. Whoa. Is going to be the Z Z Man Elastech um zinker. Um let's take one of these out the pack here. Um wow, that's insane. And it just goes right back to its form. So that's pretty nice. Uh five inch zinker in green pumpkin six pack. Um, I think they retail for about four dollars, four ninety nine for sure. Um, next we have the I'm not even gonna take these out of package because everyone knows what they are. Uh, the Zoom. Um, the Zoom Superfood in white pearl. So you know, everyone knows what these are. Next, we have the Z-Man Elastech Zinker again. And that is going to be in Junebug color. Another six pack. Um, we'll go over my gear last. Yep. Okay. Next, we have the Gander Mountain Rattling 100, I'm pretty sure it's called, um, in, in blue silver, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's, a uh, half ounce little, uh, lithless crankbait, so that's pretty nice there, there we go. Get it in there. I'm not wanting to go in there today. You know, it's been a good day, but you know that that right there is uh, ridiculous. All right, so now, boom. So yeah. Oh, it's the Rattler 100 right there. Okay. Next, I don't know, I'm just going through random stuff. Uh, the Gam the Gamagatsu Micro Perfect Size 4 Wide Gap Hooks right there. I love Gamagatsu just because they're a good brand. So Next, we have the Cabela's Escape Minnow in bone color. Um, I really like the red eye. And like the actual bones like right along there. That's pretty nice. So uh yeah. And I like the red hooks too, because they're pretty sharp. Uh next, no. Uh we got the Z Man uh three eighths ounce little tetherbait. There, take that out of the package. 
As you can see, I already take it out and I messed it up and you know, and I already put it together. It doesn't come like this, but once again, a last tech there. Um, it's like a blade. It's a blade jig, so it's pretty nice there. Make sure I get it in frame, because if I'm not getting it in frame, then there's no sense in making this video. So let's put this baby back in here. I love their chatterbaits. Um, haven't really had much experience with them, but yeah. So next we have, do I have another one around here? Nope. I guess we'll go with this thermal tackle here. Next we have uh the Berkeley extra wide gap size one knot. So pretty small hooks there. Um extra wide gap hooks there. That's pretty nice. Um and then next we have the Dipsy Swivel one fourth ounce sinker. Sinkers. Um and water gremlin split shot. 30 pack in size 7. Um, for a little split shot rigs. Next, trying out a new brand here because it's a pretty cheap brand. Um, 12 pound P line fluorocarbon. Um, because I like to use 12 pound because it's kind of neutral in between uh, 10 and 15. 10 is not heavy enough and 15 is too heavy for me. So, um, I like to throw fluorocarbon also, so. Uh, next we will go with some scents. Some scents here. So, we have the, the Berkeley Gulp Alive, um, a recharge 8 ounce. Oh, almost opened it up instead of closing it. But, yeah, it's pretty nice stuff there. You know, I should probably not put it in there. Um, next we have the KVD Fish Sticks. Um, says the original Lure Enchanter in Shad. Shad scent and man, is that strong set Shad scent right there. This thing cost me like six bucks, seven bucks, so it better work. Uh, next we have, do I have another blade bait around here? Uh, nope. Uh, next we have the fish scents. The bisky. Um, three fourths ounce gold red eye blade bait. So that's pretty nice. Rapala Husky Jerk. That's pretty nice there. And just silver. It's got like kind of a blue shine, but it's silver. So that's pretty nice right there. And then we also have the Rapala, the Rapala Jointed Deep Husky Jerk there. That's very nice. I'm gonna take this one out of the package. Wow, that is so nice right there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Goes down 12 feet, so very nice little jerk bait. Um, next, we have the, this is the biggest size you can get it in. But, I'm pretty sure it's the biggest size. Oh, yeah, it's the biggest size. Um, a little, uh, Husky Jerk in gold color. Make sure I'm in frame here. But, very nice. Big, big bait. Big fish jerk bait right there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, next we have, um... 
another one of these lipless cranks. We have the Rattler 100, which is on sale for a dollar off um, on Black Friday. So, uh, three four ounce little uh, uh, chartreuse black bag, little uh, crankbait or lipless crankbait. Um, so next, we have. The Strike King, Red Eye, Shad, and Half Ounce in Natural Shad. So that's pretty nice. That's very nice, actually. So Nice little uh, lipless crank. Um, and then we have the Gander Mountain Square Bill 100, uh, 2 to 4 foot depth. And silver black back. I'll take this one just so it's easier for you guys to see. Right there, pretty nice. Very small hooks, so I might have to change them out, but maybe we'll see. This beast, absolute beast. Whoa. There we go. Uh, the Rapala DT fourteen in Huskany Shad. That's very nice. Got like a chartreuse, like with a pearl. In uh, like a scaled back there. That's a very nice color. With it uh, dives down to 14 feet. If you guys didn't know how Rapala works. Hmm. So very nice little bait there. Next, we'll grab some Zoom products here. I grabbed some more Zoom, didn't I? Here's some more Zoom. I love Zoom. Um, we have the Zoom Super Fluke Green Pumpkin. In green pumpkin color there. So, pretty nice. Bait. Um, these are really cool. I want to really abuse these because they are just beautiful. But, um, they're very, they look like KVDs, to be honest. They don't have elastic, so, you know, they're going to break for long. Um, uh, the Zoom Z-Drop, and this one is in Morning Dawn. Um, show the package here. There. God, I love doing these. I love just looking at these. I don't know. It's, like, weird. But, uh, the Zoom Z-Drop in Green Pumpkin. These are also 3-inch, so, yep. I'm looking forward to using these in very many conditions. I need to get a couple different colors, um, maybe like a black and blue or a June bug, um, probably a June bug. But, uh, the Zoom Trick Worm. Can I get it to focus? But... Very nice there. Uh, 20 pack for about four dollars nineteen cents at Cabela's and like three ninety-five at Tech Warehouse. Um we also have the Zoom Super Salt plus uh six inch lizard. That's very nice there. Um Texas rig. Gosh. Cannot wait until the ice breaks. Cause when the ice breaks, I'm pulling out the jigs and the jerk baits, and yeah. Um, this is the zoom. Er, this is the big bite baits trick stick. 
in 5 inch in June, June Bug Chartreuse. Pull this guy out here. Very nice little chartreuse tail there. A little action. They're pretty stiff, but, uh, you know, still very good bait. Wow, I have a lot of soft flies. Um, oh, we also have these. These are like little, little, uh, little baits here. These are the, they smell so weird. Uh, the Big Bite Baits, 3-inch Trick Stick. So pretty nice little drop that bait there for a very finessey fish. Um next we have the Strike King Shimmy Stick 5 inch and green pumpkin. So yeah, very nice little bait there. I mean you can shake head these, you can wacky rig them. Carolina rig, drop shot, weightless, Texas, you know, it says all right here, so like, if you guys get strike king, then you know, and they're really nice, like, soft baits, they're like Gary on Um, and then we also got the shimmy stick in watermelon, red, black, flake, so, pretty nice, they come in seven packs for like, Three bucks, just like Young Dingers. Um, this is the four ounce version of the um little blade bait that I showed you guys earlier. Wait, yeah. Um. Next, we have the Cabela's Dig It Baby Bass little crankbait that dives to. One to four foot. Oh, two to six foot. As you guys can see there. But yeah, pretty nice little cranky bait. Um, next we have the Storm Thunderstick Mad Flash series. It's a just you know jerk bait, obviously. Um, half ounce clown color, but I hate how it doesn't say. Next, we have the Bandit Ledge Deep Diver. Very weird, like, craw-looking bait with actually very sharp hooks. Got this thing for, like, a dollar. Um, like, tons of rattles in it. Holy crap, these hooks are really, really sharp. But, yeah, pretty nice bait right there. Um... And it lures, I guess. I'm gonna have to check them out. But never seen them before. Never heard of them. Never seen anyone use them before. But God, I know I haven't. Okay, here we go. Next, we have some more terminal tackle. Uh, we have three packs of the dual lock snaps. Um, size two. Just for the plain fact of I need snaps because I'm a lazy one. Um, and then we got this Marbu Jig. I'm going to pull it out of the package just because I want to. God. Holy. I didn't even see the brown in it. Is there even a hook? This is a really finesse jig. But wow, that's awesome. Um, very nice, uh, like craw. You know, probably could put like a little, little, little trailer on it. Or just don't put a trailer on it at all. And wow, for a dollar jig, this freaking hook is so sharp. Wow. It like sticks right into my finger. Like it put holes in my... Wow, this is really nice actually. I thought it was going to be like trash, but I, you know, I wanted to try it out. So that's the Marabu jig. It was like a dollar, so I decided to pick it up. Um, we're going to grab the Cabela's Bates, soft Bates. Mm, that's it. Mm, yeah, 
that's it. Okay. I swear I had one more of these. No, I didn't. Never mind. All right, so uh, we got the four-inch salt tube in pearl silver flake. So that's pretty nice. So let's pull these out. And eight, eight pack for two is very good. Um, so they're pretty soft down here, you know. Got a lot of action, but then at the tip, they're very, very hard, you know. So you can put that jig head through there. Um, so got those, and then I also got them in green pumpkin. Um, so, yeah, uh, they're the Cabela's, they're pretty cheap. Um, these I really like because, as you can see here, they come in a 10-pack. Um, I don't know why I just dumped them all out, but 10-pack of 5-inch, uh, like, um, they, they call them the... Just a five inch stick in Green Pumpkin, the Cabela's, the Cabela's Action Tail series. And they also smell like Big Bite Baits. Um, but they do smell a little bit better. They don't have as much. But wow, they have tons. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like, look at that. That's crazy. Okay. So. That's so wow, I did not get that many hard baits today. Hmm. I got a decent amount. Got a lot of crank baits, not a lot of jerk baits. Wait, yeah, I did. I'm lying to myself, dude. I got a whole got this whole thing filled up with jerk baits. I'm a liar. Alright. Where'd I put my other scent? Oh, I put it down there. Okay. Uh next I got these right here. Um Self bend. Holy crap, these are some big heavy lures. This thing right here is two and a half ounces. It's they're like daredevils. Um so they're for pike and stuff, so we'll try them out. You got you got fire tiger, you got uh silver and black, you got uh red and white and you have coil and then you have just silver so that's pretty nice so we'll have to try those out but I got them in my stocking so next we have these big slim baits they can't see you dad they have like beaten eyes, which is really weird. Well, I guess they'll just look like they're in distress, but got a pretty nice little tail on them. So, yeah, they come with these uh, half ounce weights there. Just stick them. Hmm. I don't know, but they got like a fluke belly, which is pretty nice. Um, so, that's pretty nice. You got a three-pack for, like, two bucks. So, I picked them up because they look pretty nice. Um, so, we'll see how they do during the season. Uh, but, next, we have, I don't know, I guess we'll go with this, uh, this is also a South Bend, uh, crappie kit. Um pretty cheaply made but it'll work I mean the jig has to work and stuff so yeah that's that um, um we also got this little crank bait here uh, the Rapala fat wrap um as you can see here it says to use suffix but I like to use uh, cast cane um, power pro or I'm not going to recommend P-Line yet because I don't have it, um, but when I do start using it and see how the casting distance is, then I'll see. Um, next, we have these two spinner baits um, that are both in Bleeding Shad, but uh, Colorado and Willow Blade. Um, this is...
This is fourth ounce. And this is half ounce. So yeah. Costing like a dollar forty nine. Um some apparel here. Let me set that aside. And okay, this is just some stuff. So I guess we'll go with the last soft tape that we have here. I'm not gonna take this out of the package because just Oh. Like you can smell it through the package. But rookie power bait, chicken craw boys. Actually screw it. I'm gonna take out the package. I'm a young savage. Just kidding. Um but they do look really nice. They got a lot of action and they smell like freaking shad, dead frick just dead fish and dead craw and just all that mixture. But they come in a nine pack, so four inches and green pumpkin for topic. Um, next we have the Straight King KVD uh, Frog in what I believe is uh, black, yellow, black, yellow, Straight. Tiger Black, Black Tiger, if you want to call it, but it's really nice there, so, you know, nice and soft. Um, paid like 10 bucks for this thing, so it better work, um, because I did go to Cabela's and it wasn't on sale, but I decided to get it just because, yeah. Oh, uh, next we have a random miscellaneous bait. Um, and it's going to be the Mimic Minnow Fry thing. We're going to do like a weird a weird bass fishing challenge in a local pond. Um, this is the Berkeley Flicker Shad. Um, they have like a lot of these on sale, but this is the only one left. Um, 9 to 11 feet deep diver. Um, and it's... guys can read that but it's blue scale shad um and it says it's a cabela's exclusive color but i doubt it uh, next we have a thumper jig uh, little underspins just wanted to try them out probably use them with a lot of stuff but yeah next we have this really really little 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 a uh, little, uh, like, really minnow. Um, it's in sexy shad. Lipless crankbait there. So I'm about almost stacked up on everything for this year. But I'm going to make about a uh, two to $300 tackle warehouse order. Um, this is the Grave Digger. And it dives 10 to uh, 14 feet. And uh, the color is going to be... Chrome black bat. So that's really nice. Cabela's Day Digger. This one I'm really excited about because it is in like a really natural color. I mean, like I'll pull this thing out here. Ooh. It's got a hook in my hand when I pulled that baby out. But uh, wow, this is amazing. When they say they did a 3D scan, they did a 3D scan. Oh, never realized it was silent. Okay. But wow, that looks super good. Um, it's a Strike King KVD 1.5 shell runner and it only dives to three feet. But that's all I need with this freaking shad color. And especially when you're only fishing ponds that are about six to ten feet deep um and then when i go out lake fishing i use a deep divers so yeah that's a very nice little crankbait i like everyone says that their hooks aren't that sharp but i mean they're decent they're good um last well not last but 
This is a little arky, crappy crank. Crappy, crappy, crappy. But, uh, in sexy shad. But it looks good, so, yeah, maybe it'll work best. Lastly, I'm really excited about these, but these are the very tight fit cold gear. Um, Under Armour cold gear. You guys can see that, but Under Armour cold gear. It's got the mesh, so you can really throw that bait caster and stuff. Um, but they're very tight fit. They're like very warm. They're the cold gear. They cost me like twenty five bucks. Um, so very nice there. Um, so yeah, they're just plain black. Um, next, I got the um. Next, I got the <sighs> tackle warehouse. Uh, little beanie here. Uh, it's uh, got this pretty nice little scaled fish. Uh, pro gear. It's pretty nice. It's really warm. Um, but yeah, pretty nice little thing for the winter. And we also got kind of a winter thing here. Um, it's the hawk fishing. Performance fishing. Hard percent polyester mesh. Um, as you can see, it's very nice. It's got the same color as my shirt that I'm about to show you. Um, and the last thing I need is just hawk fishing pants, and then I'm good for winter and during the summer. Um, so this is the last thing I got, and this is uh two sizes too big to find out because I wear a men's small and sometimes a medium but I wasn't sure what size this would be like what size it would fit like if it fits the size or not um but yeah because sometimes Nike and Aeropostale and House are all fit different and then Under Armour fit different but yeah Nike fits a little bit tighter this is the Cryptic Tech Hook fishing gear performance fishing uh, long sleeve for fishing if it's cold or warm or whatever but as you can see here this is a men's large and it's huge on me but I guess if I tuck it in um, it's really nice it's really got it's got the hook fishing right there um, but it's really comfortable so if I'm like just chilling at school or whatever, or even if I go back to school, I might wear this when I go back to school. But, um, and wear like a t-shirt under it, just so it like kind of fits. But I guess if I like tuck it in, um, then maybe it'll work or like just pull it up like that. But you know, it is a little bit big, but it is pretty nice and I'm pretty excited about it. And I also want to get... Um, one of their coats So I need one of their coats and one uh, a pair of their pants and this these two this was like For all this gear right here These were 25 this was 15 I Can't math $40 there this was 21 so that's sixty one dollars and this is forty dollars. So as you can do the math, a hundred dollars for a gator and a hat and gloves. So put this gator on. Let's see here. Make sure I'm doing this right. So basically, it's going to look something like this. I know it looks kind of stupid, but it's going to protect you from the sun, even if you put on glasses and like a hat. Um, you know, even like that. Or like put on like a, just like a regular hat. Just like this hat. I will be right back. Ugh. 
I know I look retarded wearing this. Oh shoot. But um Oh no. But say you put on a hat like this. Maybe put on some sunglasses. You're not gonna have any tan lines or anything. It's gonna look pretty nice. Um, and you know the gloves you're gonna keep warm. You know you're gonna keep out of the sun. And you're gonna just fish, man. Like, so, you know, I'm gonna fish mostly like this. Like every time I'm gonna go fishing, I'm always gonna have this stuff on because it's comfortable. Except for like these. And these depends on if there's like really cold wind or whatever. You know, in the spring. But, I'm always going to try to stay protected from the sun. And, yeah, so this is really nice. I do suggest Huck because I wore um, some Huck stuff somewhere. I don't remember where it was at. Pretty sure it was at my uncle's. Yeah, my Uncle Ray. He does a lot of saltwater fishing in Florida because he's getting older. And, you know, um, he's not that old. He's like, like 50 or something like that. Um, maybe 60. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's 60. But, um, yeah, so, got all this apparel, and, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Peace out, and, give me one second, because I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Yeah, see you guys later.